Hey everybody, it's Keith from Free Marketing Help. Today we are going to talk about uh, an auto dealership in Charleston, South Carolina. It's a Kia dealership that used uh, AM, FM radio and digital to drive traffic to their website as well as foot traffic to the dealership. And this is a case study uh, from a six month period that we're gonna look at here. The challenge was bringing new buyers into the dealership. The goal, they wanted to reach new prospects, drive buyer leads and grow monthly sales. And the solution we provided was a targeted messaging uh, to auto intenders, shoppers on competitors' lots and specific demographic profiles. So from a goal standpoint, they wanted to grow web traffic, they wanted to grow foot traffic, grow phone calls, grow buyer leads and grow car sales. We created a radio campaign as the base marketing buy and we used a 60 second spot campaign that run throughout the day parts throughout the week in all day parts. We also added a digital layer that included geofence display ads, people based marketing with email and multi channel ads. And the results were through the first 90 days, the campaign had driven 4584 visits to the clients website, and 252 shoppers to the dealership. And of those customers 106 came from seven of the top dealerships uh, that were competition in that area. And then based on the matchback report alone, we've identified a total of 32 car sales that are directly attributed to this campaign. So general branding, um, keeping the key message or the creative messages to general branding, select monthly deals, select monthly savings and a military discount. We used again, geofencing, specific locations for select conquest auto sales and select employers that were technical related jobs, hospitals, military related facilities, et cetera. And with the people-based marketing, we targeted auto intenders. And I'm gonna go into that a little more in detail here. So what's geofencing? Geofencing is literally drawing an invisible fence around a real world location and targeting anybody with a smartphone that's inside that area. Now, once you're inside a geofence, if you're in there about two minutes, we're able to capture the fact that you're in there and capture your phone ID. A phone ID is like a fingerprint. And um, we're able to take that phone ID and put it on a list of people that are inside specific areas that you're targeting. While they're inside that area, we can actually target them through mobile apps that they're using while they're inside. Or we can do what's called geo farming, which means uh, we're able to follow them for the next 30 days and continue to keep your ad in front of these people for 30 days. These are banner ads. This is what a display campaign is. I'm sure you've seen these as you've looked on any news feed or any website, you've seen banner ads. And we create a set of banner ads for your campaign targeting whatever your campaign goal is. But these are the, the actual banner ads that we created for this campaign. People-based marketing approach. While we reach your audience on air through the radio commercials, we're also delivering a custom digital ad campaign to each individual person who fits your exact target audience. And we serve ads across all their devices that they own and on the channels that they most often use. Everything we're able to do begins with our database. Cumulus has a massive consumer database that contains about 200 million records. Or everyone in the database has opted in to be part of it, which prevents our emails from going into spam folders. So we don't buy email lists from, from companies. We don't pay for any of our data that we use. Our database is built up by three categories of consumer information, offline, online, and mobile. And this information allows us to build highly detailed and accurate consumer profiles on each person in our database. It also allows us to identify every computer or mobile device that is owned by each person as well as how or when they're using these devices. So from this data, we're able to build extremely efficient digital ad campaigns that focus on the target audience. Once we identify who you're trying to reach, we can serve a unique digital ad campaign to each person. Our campaigns begin with an email marketing piece, which is immediately followed by a high frequency of digital banner ads. These ads are served across all devices owned by you or your target audience. Each person receives their ads in a different way, depending on 
how their individual usage habits are. So we can deliver a customized digital ad campaign to each individual person within a target audience. And we're no longer focusing on the channel, we're focusing on the audience. Email marketing campaign, the first thing we do through our opt-in database, we're able to identify consumers that are in your market who are the exact matches of your ideal profile. Once we identify that list, we'll design a custom email creative that's 100% branded for your business and we'll send the email. The email says that it's from your company, has a subject line that includes the recipient's first name to increase open rates. And within five days after deployment, we typically see a seven to 10% open rate, which means in just a few days, you have thousands of relevant eyeballs reading about your business. As soon as we do that, we'll start serving digital display banner ads to the same targeted group of people who received your email, whether they opened it or not yet. These ads will be served across all of their devices and the channels they use most. So from a campaign results standpoint, the national click-through rate average is 0.05. The client wanted double that. They wanted a minimum of 0.10. We delivered a 0.13. They wanted an email open rate of 10%. We delivered a 14% open rate. Their goals were to increase foot traffic and compete with local dealerships. We delivered 252 shoppers uh, and foot traffic from competition, 106 of them. The goal was to sell more cars. This campaign sold 32 purchases that we can directly tie back to this campaign. So what are the key takeaways? The campaign drove 252 shoppers to the dealership and resulted in 32 vehicle purchases that could be identified directly as a connection to our campaign. Of the 32 vehicles sold, none of the buyers were previously in the dealer's database indicating the campaign is driving sales beyond the dealership's current client base. The campaign exceeded the client's goal and expectations, leading to the point that the client extended the campaign after an initial three month trial. So how do we do it or how do we do it better? Our geofencing is one of the main differences. We're able to geofence as small as the size of about a parking space, maybe a little bigger, but about, about a parking space. And we don't have to be a circular geofence. We can outline whatever the shape of the building is or the parking lot that we're specifically targeting and only capture smartphone devices that are in that area. So we're really hitting your most targeted potential car buyer. And our ads not only serve on mobile devices, but because of a cross device technology or people-based marketing platform, we can serve ads to consumers across multiple devices and channels. And we can do trigger campaigns for weather or sport type events that are a specific time or length. Here's what we recommended. We did a targeted search in their area and they searched within 30 miles of that zip code, searching for people that had a brand preference for Kia, Hyundai, Toyota, Honda, and Nissan. And we came up with 200,791 people that we had in our database that matched that. We did an email campaign targeting even further and reducing that down to 42,000 consumers who fit the exact target audience description. And then we followed that up with a digital display campaign targeting people on mobile devices, on desktops, mobile apps, Facebook, Instagram, and retargeting people that have seen your ad. Geofencing each month will serve geofence impressions targeting specific locations or competitors up to 11. And we use 100,000 impressions per month for geofencing. 50,000 will be for geofencing and 50,000 will be for retargeting or geofarming those same people. For any other marketing tips, visit my website, freemarketinghelp.org.